it's Kristen and it's time for my next installment in four looks one palette the one that we are going to be looking at today is the let's just do this MAC warm neutrals palette so I picked this up a few weeks ago and have been playing with it a little bit and so I thought I would go ahead and do a four looks one palette I had asked when I hauled it and lots of people wanted to see that so that's what we're doing next and then I think I will probably do the coastal sense revealed too as my next one so first off on my inner third and kind of pulled into the half I have this shade right here which is ginger snap and then actually I use the shade right next to it which is dark brew on the outer third and, and again pulled into the half so I overlapped the two of them in the middle of my lid and then I used this shade right here which is divine decadence beneath my lower lash line I used brulee which is right here and I'll use that every day up underneath my brow bone and then I have just a little bit of saddle in my crease to blend out the transition so that is everything that I have oh and also I did take a little bit of this shade right here which is warm breeze on a real fluffy brush just kind of on the edge of my crease color there so I'll go ahead and zoom you in okay so here's the look For liner today I used on my upper lash line the pixie liner in black and I just smudged that out with this with a little brush and then on my upper waterline into my tight line I used the Marc Jacobs in blacker for blush today I pulled out my cargo Tonga which looks like this just a really pretty neutral blush and oh I didn't put a highlight on today well what are you gonna do <laughs> and on my lips today I have um, the Mac lip liner in half red and then Mac Viva Glam 5 for my second look with the Warm Neutrals palette, I did something very relatively simple, but there's a little edge of glam to it, I would say. I have golf tonight and I didn't want to do like a full on smoky eye when I had to go to golf after work. So I used Hay, which is the shade right here, all over the lid. I used Saddle in the Crease, and that really is, I'll talk about that at the end, but it's really the only transition color. Um, I used brulee underneath my brow bone, which is this right here, and I used dark brew, which is that really warm shade right there. Well, they're all warm. <laughs> in the outer corner and just up into the crease as well. Um, I'll go ahead and zoom you in. Here's the look. On my cheeks today, I have the Benefit, the Benefit? I have Benefit Coralista, which looks like this. Mine is old school packaging. And I used, uh, did remember to pull out a highlighter. Today I used the Elizabeth Arden, which looks like this, in case you've not seen this. This was a limited edition Rose Pure, let me just say, what is it? Rose Illumination. And on, oh, as my liner, I used the Urban Decay 24-7 liner in Demolition. And then on my lips today, I used the Too Faced La Creme in Juicy Melon. For my third look today, I used kind of this lemony one, which is called Lemon Tart. And then I also used this one here, which is called Unwind. So I took Unwind on the inner third and the outer third. And then right in the middle, I used Lemon Tart. I buffed out the, the edges of those with just a clean 217 brush. And then on a fluffy brush, I took Butter Fudge, which is this shade right here, kind of as my transition color. And you can see it added a little more warmth because these two shades aren't, even though they're in the warm neutrals, they're not quite as warm as some of the other shades. And so that Butter Fudge just added a little bit of warmth to the look. I also took the, the same shade that, what was it, Unwind, beneath my lower lash line. I also, beneath my lower lash line, took this shade right here, which is Dancing in the Dark, just on the outer corner, just to add a little bit more kind of dimension and dark. I like, I, I like my outer corner to have a little more darkness. So I will zoom you in, and then we'll come back and talk about the rest. Okay, so here's the look. For liner today, I grabbed my Pixie Endless Silky Eye Pen, and this is the one in Sage Gold, and I just used that on my upper lash line, so you can see it kind of has an olivey twist to it, so it pulls out a little more of the antique in that, what was the shade? No, I already forgot, in Unwind, and then I also used it on my upper waterline, very close to the lash line, almost like a tight line, and then for blush today, I used my MAC Mineralized Blush in New Romance, which looks like this love love and on my lips today I, I line all of my lips with max whirl 
which is almost a completely MAC look today. <laughs> and then I used Peach Stock by MAC over the top of that, which I'm afraid needs to go because it's starting to have that little smell to it. And then over the top of that, I used one of my Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxies, and this is the one in Future Star. I'm not sure if this is available anymore or not, so I'm going to just give you a little swatch so you can see what that looks like. All right, for my fourth and final look, I wanted to do something a little more dramatic and smoky, so that's what I did. Um, I went ahead and used this Vanilla Extract, which is this shade right here. I packed that all over my lid, and then I just wanted it to be a little bit brighter, so I took Honey Lust, which is right next to it, and went over the top of that. Honey Lust has a little more, almost kind of, mm, it's got a little, a little glitter to it. I'll show you in the swatches. And then in my crease, I used Saddle, and I really went, kind of went to town in my crease there. Some brulee up underneath my bra bone. And then I went ahead and took, and I believe I, I used this one twice, but I, I really like this shade. This is Dark Brew. I think that's what that one is. Um, and I used that in my crease and then on a 217 and really kind of packed it on that outer third. And then to deepen things up, I went in with just a little bit smaller of a brush and I used Dance in the Dark, which is this shade right here. I also took Dance in the Dark on my along my upper lash line and I used a push liner brush to do that. I also used a push liner brush to get it beneath my lower lash line. Let me just grab oh, that. This is the brush that I'm talking about. This is the one from Beauty Junkies. I just did a review on these brushes. I'll link below if you wanna check that out. Um, so anyway, I did that upper lash line, lower lash line, and then along my lower lash line with a pencil brush, I just really blended that out with this saddle. I went ahead and used um, Marc Jacobs Blacker on my upper lash, upper waterline. I left my lower waterline empty, but you certainly could really dramatic this up by do, you know lining your lower waterline as well. And I did actually mascara both upper lashes and lower lashes today just for a change of pace. So let me zoom you in. Okay, so here's the look. For blush with this look, I used the Milani um, Romantic Rose. It's a nice matte blush. I didn't want to do a highlight today. I just felt like it was going to be too much or something, so I didn't. On my lips today, however, I have MAC Lip Liner in Spice. And then I used MAC's Kinda Sexy over the top of that. And then I really feel like Kinda Sexy, at least on me and my age lips, needs a gloss over the top of it. So I used the Maybelline Almond Crush over the top of that. So let me give you some swatches and then we'll talk about the palette. All right, so top row, first four shades is Hay, Warm Breeze, Ginger Snap, and Dark Brew. It's dancing in the Dark. Hay, Warm Breeze, Ginger Snap, Dark Brew, and Dancing in the Dark. Second row is Brulee, Vanilla Extract, Honey Lust, and Amber Lights. Lastly in that row is Saddle, Brulee, which you're not going to be really able to see, Vanilla Extract, Honey Lust, Amber Lights, which I cannot believe I didn't use, and Saddle. <laughs> Amber Lights is one of my favorite MAC shades. And, uh. Lemon Tart, Creative Copper, Butterfudge, Divine Decadence. Lastly in that row is Unwind. Lemon Tart, Creative Copper, Butterfudge, Divine Decadence, and Unwind. Of these shades, I'm fairly certain only four of them are permanent, and that is Brulee, Honey Lust, Amber Lights, and Saddle. The rest of them are unique to this palette. It's nice that you're getting different shades in here. Um, the, the sad thing for me is that I do have all four of those shades, you know, in pan form. One of the things that people had asked me is, do these come out of here? And I'm sure there's some way you could get them out, but they are not magnetic. They are not the pro pan or whatever to get out of here. The other thing I wanted to mention is I went and looked up um, a single MAC shadow has one and a half grams of product in, you know, in it. This one doesn't say how much each one has. It says that there's 19.5 grams of product in these 15 shadows. And if you were to buy 15 shadows on their own, it would be 22 and a half grams of product. So it's fairly similar. It's, it, you know, I figured there would be less product in there. Um, I'm surprised that it's not less than even, you know, than even the 19.5. So I think that is not bad. If you were to buy 15 shadows in pan form, so not in a, not in their little compact, but in pan form, it would be $150. And this sells for $85. So I feel like that's a really good deal. 
And I also feel like the shades in, at least the permanent ones, the shades that are in here perform very much like their, you know, their permanent, you know, in the pan counterparts. And the one that is a huge, was a huge fail for me by itself in pan form and in here is the one in the center here, Honey Lust. I just don't love that shade. It's very, um, it's very kind of chunky and just doesn't perform very well on its own over the top of something like today where I used vanilla extract and then I went over the top of it with Honey Lust, then it, it tends to work a little bit better. But when you use Honey Lust just on its own, you really don't get that kind of full, um, like what you want it to look like in the pan. Well, at any rate, I like this palette. I feel like this is a good buy. If you like warm shades, this is a really nice palette. And again, I feel like it's good value. Again, while it's not uh, you know, 1.5 grams of product for each shadow like a single one would be, you're still getting a good amount of product for much less of a price. So I guess it's kind of to each their own what you would actually <laughs> do about this, but I really, really, I, I enjoyed playing with it. I, I liked the Lemon Tart and the, what was that other shade? The Lemon Tart and Unwind, these two kind of different shades right here. Let me see if I can get you a better shot of that. Um, I really like those more than I thought I would. This this unwind really has kind of an antique -y feel to it. I, I like that a lot. So at any rate, I am happy with that purchase. Um, if you are new to Four Looks One Palette, if this is the first one you've caught, I have over 30 of them and I will list a playlist below if you want to go check out if one of your favorite palettes I have done. Um, I think the next one I will be doing will be the Coastal Scents Revealed 2. I did the Revealed 1 already. Well, I think that is all that I have to share with you guys on this. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this and I will talk to you very soon.